Are you feeling all woozy? Perhaps a little anxious or paranoid? Yup, you, my friend, have consumed more THC than your brain can handle. No worries, we got you covered. Hello again, I'm Speaking Wind Woman, host at Cannabis Corner Cafe. In yesterday's episode, we looked at the three primary methods of marijuana delivery, during which I very strongly advised against overindulgence, a common but not fatal mistake. It's a mistake that's mostly made by new patients and unseasoned users. Note that never in the history of cannabis has there been a fatal overdose. In fact, it's practically impossible. To fatally overdose, one would have to ingest approximately 22 kilograms of marijuana at once, or inhale an insane quantity of an estimated 680 kilograms. Now, that's not to say that pot is perfectly safe, and I'll address those concerns today. But first, what is an overdose of THC? To understand that, you kind of have to know how THC affects our central nervous system. I found this great video produced by ASAP Science that says it all. No point regurgitating the info. You'll find a link to the video on our blog and in the description below. Let's take a peek. So what's going on inside your brain when you're smoking marijuana? Well, unlike alcohol, which contains molecules nothing like those in our body, cannabis contains molecules that resemble those produced in our very own brains, cannabinoids. Though naturally, these cannabinoids circulate in much lower quantities compared to the large influx imposed by smoking. Specifically, the chemical tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, resembles a natural transmitter called anandamide. These cannabinoids are specialized neurotransmitters released by neurons having just fired. Neurons temporarily become unresponsive after firing to prevent them from overreacting or being too dominant. This allows your brain to function in a calm and controlled manner, but cannabinoids interrupt this approach in some parts of the brain. Instead, they remove the refractory period of neurons that are already active and cause your thoughts, imagination, and perception to utterly magnify itself. This means once you begin your train of thought, it becomes the most significant and profound thing ever. You can't see the big picture or even recall your last epiphany because you're caught up in the momentum of a particular idea and your neurons keep firing until a new idea takes hold and you go off on a new tangent. These cannabinoids also affect the levels of dopamine and norepinephrine in your brain, often leading to a sense of euphoria, relaxation, pain modulation, and general enhancement of an experience, though sometimes causing anxiety. Furthermore, there are cannabinoid receptors in areas controlling short-term memory, learning, coordination, movement control, and higher cognitive functions. Got a burning question you want answered? Ask it. Okay, so an overdose or too much THC overexcites the neurons in our brain. The brain goes into overdrive and shuts down the body. No worries. It'll reboot, refreshed, and regenerated in six to eight hours. In fact, we'll get into the details about using medical marijuana for sleep next week, and we'll make a tincture too on Tuesday. However, today's topic was THC or tetrahydrocannabinol. So to wrap up, basically this little guy is responsible for the psychoactive effects associated with cannabis. As we saw, THC attaches to natural receptors found in our brain or central nervous system, primarily affecting the areas associated with thinking, memory, pleasure, coordination, and time perception. As you can well imagine, too much stimulation in these areas is likely to induce anxiety or paranoia. How can you avoid too much THC? Information is power, and tomorrow we'll talk about the different ways in which THC and other cannabinoids are extracted and the concentrates that are available. What an awesome information day. Thank you for joining me. Remember to subscribe, like, and share the Cannabis Corner Cafe YouTube videos. If you'd like more detailed information about cannabinoids such as THC, please visit our website at CannabisCornerCafe.ca. 
ask a question, leave a comment, or just give us a double thumbs up. Keep these videos coming. On that note, viewers, I'm Speaking Wind Woman saying, get healthy, be strong, stay happy. Ciao for now. Five bucks and a big two.